I'm Michael Green, and I'm from the University of Cambridge. I'm Stephen Miller from Rutgers University. I'm Kiyohono from Sakli and AGS. Certain Eisenstein series that, sh that come up in an analyzing uh, scattering amplitudes in string theory have very special properties. Um, in particular, in this paper, we show that the um, Fourier modes of these series are much sparser than might be expected. Uh, this sparseness of the Fourier modes is deeply connected with the fact that um, these amplitudes in string theory are constrained by supersymmetry in such a way that the number of instanton orbits is very much less than it might have been. And um, the co correspondence between the orbits of instantons and the Fourier modes of the Eisenstein series is our main result from a physicist's point of view. The sparseness of the non-vanishing coefficients is shown using representation theory. There are representations connected to Eisenstein series, and in this particular case, an appendix to our paper by Chubataro and Trapa shows that they are small in the sense of having low gelfon Kirillov dimension. There is a theorem of Matsumoto which then ensures the vanishing of the other Fourier coefficients, completely in line with the string theory pred prediction. As a bonus, because we understand the structure of the asymptotics of the Eisenstein series, we can turn the tables and say something about the representation theory from the physics point of view. In particular, the unitarity of this representation is shown. This is shown using the L2 structure, and it confirms a conjecture of Jim Arthur, which had been studied from representation theory.